All right, so let's take a look at the pelvic floor. This model is a female pelvic floor model. All of the same muscles are going to be present in a male, except the bulbospongiosis muscle, which we're looking at right here, is going to have a totally different appearance as it's wrapping around the base of the penis. Okay? So bulbospongiosis goes from the anterior side of the clitoris all the way back to the posterior side of the vaginal orifice and then makes an ellipsis to come back. So it's a nearly circular shaped muscle. On either side, we get what looks like a triangle and then a triangular base. So underneath the ischium here is ischiocavernosis, almost like the, the bone is making a little cavern for the ischiocavernosis muscle to reside. And then the base of this triangle is going to be the superficial transverse perineal muscle. All of these transverse striations that you see filling in the triangle are representing the deep transverse perineal muscle. Uh, looking back here, we've got a skeletal muscle sphincter, which is the external anal sphincter, so voluntary control. Deep to that, we would have an internal anal sphincter, which is smooth muscle and involuntary. Right. Take a look back here, we can see a couple bands of muscle which are all coming to the coccyx, coccyx. So this is the coccygeus muscle, or coccygeus. And coccygeus, along with this muscle under here, makes up the levator ani group of muscles.